guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. Today on Creative Glam, I thought I'd share with you my weekly grocery haul. This week I went to Wegmans and I picked up about a week's worth of groceries for my family. If it sounds like something you're interested in seeing, stay tuned and let's get started.
yeah, this is a week's worth of groceries that my family will go through and I will probably end up having to make a run back for something in particular, especially if I'm doing some meal planning and meal prep. The only thing I really intended to do uh, this week was to make some turkey burgers and I was going to make some, um, I don't know what I was gonna do with ground beef, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I bought the ground beef because it's always good to have. I might just store it, but I was going to use the ground turkey to make some turkey burgers. Um, and everything else is just kind of like snacky kind of things and just replenishing the stuff that has been used. Just keeping my, my, my stock current. Keeping the pantry and the refrigerator current. Using the old stuff, bringing in the new stuff. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And if you stick to the end, you'll see a what I ate for dinner. And that's the cookie oil that I usually use. It's an organic coconut oil, um, unflavored. And I usually use that, I'm not gonna say in lieu of olive oil, I still use olive oil too, but for the most part, I use the coconut oil. I also picked up some cereal, uh, Full Circle Market. It's an organic, um, it's an organic brand that we like a lot. They eat a lot of cereal. I don't eat that much, but they eat quite a bit of it. And I figure if they're gonna eat that much, we might as well get the organic. They're not the the regular um, the regular name brand cereals that have all the extra stuff that you don't want in it. Um, they like the Raisin Bran. They also like the Frosted Flakes. They like that as well. Um, it's, it's a pretty decent brand. You know, you're used to eating Frosted Flakes or, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch and all those things. They have stuff in it that we just don't want. And another brand um, that we like a lot is the uh, Cascadian Farm. Car Cascadian Farm. Um, that's another pretty decent cereal brand that we get. Also, I got some uh, stuff for breakfast. Got some... We normally do turkey bacon, but we discovered this beef bacon and I like the taste and the texture a lot So we've been doing the beef bacon in lieu of the turkey bacon here for a while And uh, I also picked up some cheese some Sargento cheese just some cheddar cheese I usually buy it in the, the brick of cheese that you can grade yourself but sometimes like when they're making their quesadillas um, or their breakfast burritos they want something quick. So I try and keep some of that as well. And then of course, um, Herdez is a, sal is a salsa that we use quite often. I had never seen guacamole, sal guacamole salsa before. So I thought I'd give it a try. I'll let you, I'll follow up and let you guys know how it tastes. It looked good. I, maybe I, I, I like green. So maybe, <laughs> maybe cause I like green. I thought it looked interesting. I thought I'd give it a try. And then, of course, um, my Land Lakes butter. Um, I used to use Country Crock, and I switched over to the Land Lakes butter because of all the ingredients in the Country Crock and most margarines. Um, it's stuff that I really didn't want my family to have. Um, so I thought I would just go... That, that's what I like about this one. It's just butter with olive oil and sea salt. Not all that other stuff. So I, we get the organic lactose free, 2% milk. Because as I said, they eat a lot of cereal. So that's the milk that I usually get. I got some organic ground beef. I got some organic turkey. I've got some um, microwave dinners, the devour microwave dinners. My family seems to like that. The white cheddar with the bacon and the buffalo macaroni and cheese and the white cheddar macaroni and cheese with bacon, some Hot Pockets. Um, my children seem to like those quite a bit. The iced teas, they go incredibly fast around my home. They go too fast for the price. Most of the junk that you'll see up here is eaten by my children. Um, we've got some fries, we've got some loaded fries from TGI Fridays, but I got them from the grocery store, but you know, the TGI Fridays brand. Uh, the Petrich Farms bread. Uh, got some M&Ms, uh, some, some Dawn dish soap, uh, got the Cascade uh, pods for the dishwasher, some aluminum foil, some Ran Wrap, 
organic eggs, organic coffee. Um, I got a Red Baron pizza back there and some um, hamburgers. I also saw some new, I'd never seen the Herdez guacamole salsa. Um, that's right there. I'd never seen that before, so I got it. Uh, grab some Hot Pockets for breakfast because when people are running out the door in the morning, sometimes they want something quick. Um, I like the steak, um, the steakhouse potatoes. Those are really good um, to have with steak. <laughs> we always keep a staple item around uh, our home is the flour tortillas. Um, make egg burritos or any kind of burritos that you like. I got my um, extra fine ground, uh, my extra fine green beans. Got some organic milk. I got some uh, passion fruit breakfast juice. Um, got some red sauce, panko bread, panko bread crumb, crumbs, red sauce, Parmesan cheese, um, American cheese, cheddar cheese, fish sticks. Um, this is the butter that I use. It's it's actual, this is the butter that I use. It's actual butter with olive oil. Um, I like it because it doesn't have all that other stuff in it. It's just butter. And they put a little olive oil and sea salt in it to make it spreadable. I like this. Um, got some chicken rice and, uh, chicken rice and bean burritos. Did I say the, the um, shrimp already? Paper products. Again, like I said, it's not a lot. It's just um, what my family would probably would go through in a week. So I just wanted to show you my grocery haul from Wegmans. I've got the water boiling. Now it's time to add the sacatini. I season my water before I add my pasta. I season it with a little salt, a little sea salt, and a basil. Then I add my pasta. They say if you put a spoon over the pot, it will keep the pasta water from boiling over. We're gonna see. I'm gonna test that theory today. How about that? So I thought I'd give you guys a little um, look into what I ate for dinner. And tonight it's gonna to be sacatini in a red sauce with a little garlic bread. And a cold beverage. The water's starting to boil and I've got my spoon on top. I'm anxious to see what's gonna happen. They say it's supposed to keep it from boiling over. We're gonna see. That's the basil rising to the top. You see there the little flecks in the water. So far so good. You'll notice that the pasta looks like little sacks, hence the name Sacatini. This one happens to be um, spinach and uh, spinach and cheese Sacatini. Alrighty, add my red sauce. of my Parmesan cheese. I'm add a little red pepper flakes because I like it a little spicy, but not too spicy. Now all I have to do is pull the bread out of the oven and dinner's ready. Dinner is served. Sacatini 
with spinach and cheese in a red sauce with fresh vegetables. Garlic bread, iced tea. This is what I ate for dinner. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my grocery haul. For all my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you and know I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, I say welcome and thanks for subscribing. Your support means a lot to me and I appreciate it and I appreciate you.